The shuttle program, as you at home know, has brought about incredible gains for this country, expanding not only the knowledge of the universe, but also the technology, many things we use every day, and for many people, their dreams. But that has not come without a cost. Two disasters have claimed the lives of 14 astronauts over the past three decades. Their passion to explore is what fueled the space program. And in their sacrifice, they have left a legacy of inspiration, as CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller reports. One small step for man. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlanta. In 50 years, the American space program has achieved unimaginable success. Uh, but it's very pretty out here. Shuttle Columbia fell to Earth and suffered unspeakable loss. 14 astronauts in 134 space shuttle missions. Liftoff of the 25th space shuttle mission and it has cleared the tower. On January 28, 1986, Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. 73 seconds after launch, Challenger exploded. Obviously a major malfunction. Shrouding every loved one watching in an aura of disbelief. The, the feeling is indescribable. I can only say numb, numb. Carl McNair's little brother, Ron, was one of Challenger's seven crew members. At 35, it was his second mission in space. That, that no doubt, was the saddest day of my life. Still very fresh. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's etched in your, in your brain. It's uh, something you never forget. We remember Ronald McNair. His dream was to live aboard the space station, performing experiments and playing his saxophone in the weightlessness of space. Well, Ron, we will miss your saxophone, and we will build your space station. But Ron McNair's story, which began here in Lake City, South Carolina, isn't just one of tragedy, but triumph. The tale of a precocious kid who grew up poor during segregation and overcame hurdle after hurdle to realize his dreams. It's uh, a story of, if you will, a real role model. And, uh, and I think when you learn about other aspects of his life, you find that same kind of thing exists, you know, from the dedication that he had, the commitment that he had to his craft. Gifted in both science and math, McNair graduated at the top of his high school class, went on to earn a bachelor's degree in physics and his PhD from MIT. But that success almost didn't happen after he changed his major from physics to music his freshman year. Ron had his first uh, serious uh, bout with self-doubt. Thankfully, his advisor stepped in. She found him out tracked him down, hauled him back to the office. I just told him just straight out, I believe that you're good enough. And that was the spark that it took. A little encouragement. It went a long way. In 1978, he beat out nearly 10,000 other applicants to earn a spot in the U.S. space program. You guys uh, really look beautiful as you Eventually becoming sky. only the second African-American in space. When you saw the first launch, you and your family were there. Yeah. Could you believe it? We couldn't believe that. This didn't happen with anyone who came from my hometown. Uh, here he was, and we had half the hometown there with us. Six, five, we have main engine start. And when they had the countdown and it went to zero and that shuttle actually launched, it's kind of like, wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. It just give me goosebumps just thinking about it. That's my brother up there. Yeah. In this interview, McNair opened up about his love for NASA. I'll just do what I've always done, pursue the job positively and confidently. And uh, I feel like this job and I were sort of made for each other. 330 miles above the Earth. Without ever knowing it, he inspired a generation of future astronauts, including a man four years his senior. I'm here today because of Ron McNair. Had I not, Fellow South Carolinian Charles and, Bolden, and, uh, and who I now heads NASA. NASA. That was a defining moment in the space program. It marked a totally new generation of astronauts. It made uh, the possibility of becoming an astronaut real for kids who probably would never have dreamed it before Ron became an astronaut. Touchdown. 
The curtain now closes on an era of space exploration, but the legacy of Ron McNair and 13 other men and women lives on through the passion they held for our universe and the answers it may hold for those of us who remain here on Earth. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Lake City, South Carolina.